Yep. Hey, another day. Wake up, smell the roses, even if it is midday. Some of you old digs, you lying in bed until the sun's well over the yard. Uh, <laughs> but never mind, we're here, Pete and I. Pete, welcome. Thanks, Dennis. Yeah, another you, beautiful day here. I see you back in warm winter <laughs> Wairu. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> it's always it's always been one of my favorite photos is because I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best place to view Ruapehu from a long, long way away. <laughs> exactly. What's what is it? Uh Wairu's like Auckland. It's a nice sight in your rear vision mirror as you're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no offense to all you Aucklanders. <laughs> None taken. All Liberians. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're pretty thin on the ground. I would suspect in that place. I yeah, I would guess they are. Yeah, yeah. So, not like the days when we were there. There was oh, thousands. Truck a camp, but national it, service. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Very different, eh? The populations very di yeah. different. Yeah. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here to think about things about. Um, Southeast Asian veterans and the stuff that applies to us. So welcome. Nice of you to join us. Uh, we'll keep you entertained for a five or ten minutes and let you go back about your busy day. <laughs> I think first on the list, I don't know what I've got today. Oh, I've thrown something up on the um, Southeast Asian uh, website this morning. Have a gander at that. It's from the Havoc Journal. It's a really interesting piece of um, journalistic writing by a former American, um, I think he was a major, and the focus of his um, article is about, actually, if you didn't go to war, your service still counts. And he makes mention of people who, um, at varying times, served in different places, um, some of whom were in theatre, like himself, but never got out to um, shoot a round off downrange, as they call it. Um, but his service still counted. He was in the um, intelligence. Um, and I guess like uh, <clears throat> within the ex-services community here, the ex-services community anywhere, there's this constant friction between those who've seen operational service and those that haven't. Um, so even if you've seen operational service, have a read. It's an enlightening piece. That was a good start. I did that quite well, I thought. Um, very, very well done. The other thing is um, Sunday was um, Long Tan Day, Vietnam Veterans Day. For those of you who remember, good movie. If you've got a, um, I think it's about an hour and a half or something to watch, have a look at that. See what they, um, both the New Zealand artillery and the Australian infantry got up to on that day. Um, <clears throat> quite an amazing uh, feat by both both services, both countries, um, in a war setting. Uh, so we also remember those who were whose lives were lost. I understand there was a cross. I'm not sure if it's still in existence at the um, at the site of the battle, but um, a brave effort by uh, all those concerned, and uh, hopefully their their service was remembered throughout the country on the um, on Sunday. Wouldn't have been a good day down here in the south cold airs, snow around, and um, very unlike the warmer climes of Southeast Asia. So, Pete, what have you been up to since we met last week? Anything that you can share with us? Um, yeah, I did go to Pam Terry's funeral here in Rotorua. Uh -huh. um, and for those that don't know, Pam was a, a nurse ex-Vietnam. Um, her husband was Bro Terry, who was killed in a C-130 crash in the uh, Philippines. He was uh, one of the Red Hat Club from Papakura. But the funeral itself was absolutely huge and amazing turnout from the guys that were ex-Papakura and Victor Four in particular, who had a pretty close affinity with Pam. And I think you've got another notice later on for another funeral this week which I'll be going to, and right. I'll leave that for you to announce. The Give a Little page, is um, there's been very little activity on it this week, so um, please, guys, can I ask you, you know, chip in. It's, um, it's for a good cause. 
just chip in whatever you can. You know, it doesn't have to be a huge amount of money. It all counts. It all adds up. And I have, um, I did get approached by somebody who dear last week, who told me that he thought it was the wrong approach. And I said to him, "Yeah, that's fine. I'm everybody's entitled to an opinion, and that's yours." And you know, we we're still mates. I know this guy, so we're still mates. So, you know, hey, we're not here to piss anybody off or anything, but we do ask for your support, and I think that's the important thing. And probably the only other thing I've got to say is the final letter to the ombudsman has gone. So wait and see. Okay. All right. Yeah. And you've, you've been grafting on that for quite a while, Pete, the last couple of weeks quite heavily. The um, yes. <laughs> Yeah, my wife's sort of been wondering who the stranger is in the house. <laughs> he seems to have his head stuck in a computer every hour of the day and half the night. So <laughs> yeah, it's been a battle because uh, I'm still working full time. Yep. So, yeah, it's it's definitely been a battle. I've done a few late hours, and, and I'm sometimes quite happy when it's raining in the weekend because it gives me an opportunity to do something rather than get out in the garden. So, <laughs> yeah. But, hey, as I said, it's gone now, so it is out of our hands now. Good on you. Thanks, Pete. That's a huge effort. And, um, I mean, from the initial OIA to the um, appeal to the ombudsman, and now the follow-up from their, their report. Yeah. So um, well done. Good effort. Lots of reading, believe me. Thousands and thousands of pages. And uh, I'm pretty sure you've read most of them yourself. So. <laughs> yeah. I read the odd one or two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Eh? Academics do write a lot, don't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how they keep their jobs, the more they write. <laughs> yes, yeah. All right, so that's that's a, that's a couple of updates. Um, and in relation to the Give a Little page, look, it doesn't have to be big. If you're out and about and having a cup of coffee, maybe it um, comes down to, I could spend this on a cup of coffee and feel good for five minutes, or I could spend this on um, putting it into the Give a Little page to help someone else feel better for a lot longer. So, you know, five bucks. Or, uh, there is... With a facility within the um, uh, current accounts that we have for people to make donations, and there's a group who um, regularly on pension day or whatever it is, put five or ten bucks in. Um, it's the coffee club. You can do that, or you can feed it into the Give a Little page. Doesn't matter. Uh, the end result is that it will be used for former service people. And, and it, it will be quite wide because uh, we don't want to close off anybody who knocks at our door. And not, sorry, specifically, first call will be those who served in Singapore, 71 to 89. Then it'll be opened up a little bit further to um, Malaya, Vietnam, and those who came after 89. <clears throat> so there you go. We've got to grow the fund. Thanks, Pete. That's another one of your initiatives. Well done for bringing that to um, fruition. Cheers, Dennis. Now I've had a um, I've had an email from the erstwhile Frank who's somewhere in Europe, last seen in Scotland. Um, so we'll do the um, crossing the bar in the last post. NZ one six seven three one, Arangi, known as Rev Bruce or Joe, radio operator second class RNZN. Uh, across the bar, 15th of August, and no further details are available. November, Zulu Whiskey 1464. Wakro, Nee Matthews, first name Nolene, Aren, RNZN, across the bar on the 18th of August, 2024, in Masterton. No further details are available. And from the, uh, the green uniform wearers, Four two double three one. Watkins Christopher R N Z I R passed away yesterday in New Plymouth, age seventy eight. Uh, Chris served in Victor One and Whiskey One in sixty seven and sixty eight in Vietnam. And on the eighteenth um, of August in Thai Happy, uh, surname was Levy, first name Russ, um, passed away. His funeral will be in Wairu on uh, this Friday, 23rd of August, 11 a.m. Uh, interesting career. Kicked off as a um, 
um, as a Navy man, was one of the early sailors down to um, Antarctica. Was that on the Endeavour, Pete? Yeah, it was um, the second Endeavour, I think it was. So, Okay. Um, Mike, he then... Mike Zabritsky would know him well because I think they might have been in the Navy at the same time. So, uh, Then he swapped to the New Zealand Army as an engineer uh, and then moved across to RNZ EME and was in um, Singapore NZ Workshops 1980s. Also a long-time civilian employee in the Wairu Workshops and an ex-Patriot uh, Patriot motorcycle uh, member. So our condolences to uh, Anne, his wife, and family. And as for those families of those who have passed, if you need, um, firstly, our condolences to you. And if you need some support in any way, don't hesitate to get in touch with either a member of the executive committee or with your local RSA, the um, local support advisors. They will give you a hand to negotiate either Veterans Affairs on one hand or the RSA assistance to um, to help you out. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. And there you go, short and sweet like a donkey's trot. That's us for today. Thanks for joining us. Um, as usual, don't be afraid to um, pick up the phone or get on the keyboard and make contact with someone that you serve with. Plenty of us are on Facebook um, and easily accessible. Just check on how they're getting on, whether they need some support. And although we're all, you know, rough, tough ex-servicemen and we don't need help, the reality is that for many of us, we do. We just don't bother asking, and that's to our detriment. So if you do find someone who needs support and you're not keen on helping them yourself or you don't know where to go, give us a bell or get in touch with your local RSA. Speak to the support person there. And you don't have to be an RSA member to access support from the RSA. So there you go. That's us for today. Take care, look after yourselves, look after your mates, um, keep in contact, and we'll see you on the same time, same bat channel next week. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day, Pete. Thanks, Dennis. See you, everybody.